to part two of advanced editing techniques. The tool that I have been working with was uh, offset, then e explode, erase, and fillet. So I just want to show a couple more tricks with fillet before I jump to the next command. Is if I want to fillet uh, these two lines, like for instance, I basically want to keep this line and that one, but print, uh, trim out this much part. So instead of using the trim command, I could even use the fillet command. So I just type F, enter, R, enter, and the radius is zero, enter. And I select the first object of that and the second object of this. See, it already trimmed that out for me. Or I could go in this direction. Okay, or if I wanted to trim or fillet, I do F and I could trim this one and that one. So it gets rid of the other lines. I could do fillet, fillet and that one. So it gets rid of the other lines. Obviously I could even put in the radius, fillet, enter, R, enter, and maybe 0.5, enter. Select that one and this one. So it made a radius of 0.5. Fillet, enter, R, enter, 0.1 click and click okay same thing I could do over here so you play around a little bit with the fillet tool and then you should be fine with that so let's go to the next one there's a little fly out in the fillet called as the chamfer okay uh, instead of making a round chamfer puts in uh, an angle okay, so I can start with uh, Let's see, I'll just start with a rectangle, another rectangle. Now let me see the distance. Distance is 3 and is 7. Okay, so let's go on to the chamfer command. And before I go into anything, it says select first line, undo polyline distance. So I'm going to type distance as D. Enter. Now I'm going to dis give a distance of the first chamfer, chamfer as 1 and gives the distance of the second chamfer as 1. Now all I have to do is click the first line and the second line. Click and click. So what it did, it made a chamfer of a distance of 1 from here to here and 1 from here to here. Okay. Now let's do it on this side. So I do chamfer I give D for distance. Now this time I'm going to give 2, enter, and 3, enter. Click on this side and that side. So you see what that did? This distance is gave as 2, and this distance it gave as 3. So uh, you could use that command as well. Going back to the fillet, leave it as it is there. So let's go to this one. Uh, I did not cover this in the previous exercise, so I would like to do that extremely useful tool called as the trim, and if you hold down, you will see extend. I think I might have done it in one of the tutorials, but still, I'm going to go over that again. So what does trim do? Trims object to meet the edges of other objects. Like, for instance, if I had a door and I want to make the opening, that's how I would do it. I would use the trim command. So the, the short for trim is TR, and when you want to trim something, you just have to make sure that you select the whole area. So I select the whole area, hit enter. And now I can start trimming objects. One, two, okay? There should be some kind of a crossing for me to trim. Some, I need some space to trim an object. Just keep going. Do you think I should be, I could be able to trim that? No, because it's not crossing or overlapping. These lines are not crossing or overlapping anything. So obviously my trim command would be okay there. Again, if I want to trim, select the whole screen. I'm just wanting to trim these lines, maybe even that line. If I wanted, I could trim this. But can I trim any more lines? No. Okay? I cannot because my trimming is done. Now, if I want to trim all these in one go, I will type TR or click right there, right there, select the whole object, OK? 
okay make sure you select the whole thing you cannot just select that much or this much you have to select the whole thing enter and I want to trim all these objects in one go okay trim select the whole object I want to trim maybe four of them like that I want to trim this I want to trim two from this side okay so trim makes your drawing go a lot more faster helps with your editing and you have to make sure things are overlapping like for instance I can even trim this line or even this line you see that so so that's what trim does and on the other hand you have another command in the little flyout called as extend we're going to cover that in a little bit but trim for instance if there was an opening for a door here I'm going to go to my object map and turn on nearest right now so just imagine this is a wall and that's where my door goes okay that's where my door goes just gonna draw a rough door trimming the rest of the door that I <coughs> don't need so I have pretty much my door set all I have to do is trim these lines and how would I do that again use the same command call it tr trim spacebar select engulf the whole area enter and then in one go I'm gonna trim both of them I could do click and click if I want it as well but that takes a little bit more time so I'm trying to be more efficient and then just trimming all of them together okay so that's where you could use the trim. You will use the trim a thousand different places. So uh, you got to master that tool as well. Now let's go to the next one called as extend. So I would say this is like the opposite of trim. It, it extends your line up to a certain boundary. So I could click on that. It says extends object to meet the edges of other objects. So I click on that. Now it's asking me select object or select all. I can just select this whole section right there or I can select all, the whole screen, doesn't matter. And I hit enter. Now it says project edges. So I want to project that one, this, 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 this. So it already took my, my boundary to be that far. So that's why it projects it. So I can click there, project even these lines. That project that yes. What other lines could I project? Project? Oh, I could project that. I could probably even project this. See, taking that line. So that's the extend command. All it does it projects your lines up to a certain boundary or an edge till it finds it. Okay. E X is the typing command. Hit enter. Select object. Select the whole screen. Doesn't matter. And I click on that. See, I'm not clicking on this side. I'm clicking more towards that side. Clicking more towards this side. For instance, if I click here, it's going on that direction to your left. But if I click the same line, but if I click there, uh, it should have gone. No, maybe it doesn't have enough space. So if I move this a little bit out of the way, then I can find some place. Okay. So if I were to extend. EX, select my whole screen, and then if I click that, see, it's going all the way up to that line. If I click this, it's going all the way up to that line. So you could use extend to where you would want to or where we, you would like to. Uh, I really don't use it much, but again, it's up to you. I can even extend, like in this picture that you see, I can even extend the arcs. If I have a partial arc, I could extend it to draw the whole thing okay so you could use it in n number of different uh, different areas that you would want to extend let's try extending this one okay so it's not going there okay I could just do it that way just because okay so ARC I could do an arc like the example that we have over there going to make a line 
and I'm going to extend this whole thing up to here. Let's see if that does it. No, it doesn't. Let me move it a little closer. Okay, extend, extend that, and click. See, there it extends the arc. So it should it should be within that radius. So that that's what it will do. So that was the extend, the trim, the offset, the erase, the explode, the fillet, and the chamfer. Next important one is the array command. Now we still have some more left, so I'll have to go to part three for this one. But I am going to start with the array command first. Okay. Now what the array does is creates multiple copies of objects, like what you see. The one you see to the left is a rectangular array, and the one you see to the right is a polar array. Now, the way this works is I'm going to make maybe a small little rectangle, okay, with, I don't know, with some line right here. Okay, now let's see the distance that we have. We have like 1 by... Yeah, one by one, something like that, right? One point seven by one. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to use my array command. So this window pops up. Now everything you do with array is in this little window. Now by default it goes to a rectangular array where it shows the number of rows and the columns, like of the copies that I want to make. So uh when you're using array it's it's good to it's easy to make a number of copies at a certain distance and uh, it's really efficient. You see, I'm trying to make something like this that you see over here. So I'm going to make number of rows as maybe six, number of columns, okay? These are the columns, right? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make it as uh, maybe eight. Or you know what, let's keep it as five. And this I wanna have it at eight, okay? Now the next step that I need to do, one of the steps is put in these number of rows and columns. Second step is put the rectangular array. Third step is obviously select the object that I want to copy, right? Or I want to array. So select the object. This is my object. Hit enter. Now the next thing I even need to put in is the offset distance. Like how much distance do I want from my rows? You see that little gap right there? Instead of 1, I'm going to put it as 2. And the column offset, I'm going to put it as 3. I can even give it an angle. Right now, it will go like this, right? If I give it an angle, it will go at an angle. But you could try that. So I have everything set up. Before I hit OK, I can always do a preview of what my object looks like. So this is what it is. So it's got 3, 3, 6, seven, eight rows, and one, two, three, four, five columns at a distance of two and three, okay? And if I'm done with that, I hit my space bar, and I hit okay. So my rectangular array worked fine. It helped me made all these copies in one single go, okay? Now let's jump to, uh, you know what, I'm going to the polar array in in the third one in the uh, in the third part because uh, again polar array takes some more steps as well so I could do in a circle I'm just going to repeat the rectangular array I have five by five rectangular array selected uh, I have to select the object don't forget to select the object enter the distance is maybe five by five and I just give it an angle this time at 45. Okay, hit preview. See what it did there? And hit OK. So it made 5 by 5 at an angle of 45 and whatever the distance was in between the X and the Y. Extremely useful tool. So I hope you learned or you followed my instructions about how to make a rectangular array. In the part three, we are going to start with the polar array, right? Thank you.